lion's roar is a low sound, but birds tweeting is a high sound. Sounds can be higher or lower, and this is called the sound's pitch. Can you think of any other examples of high and low sounds? Another example is women and children usually have higher voices than men. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Is this a high sound or a low sound? It's a high sound. Individual pitches are called notes. The notes in music are named after letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. This is the musical alphabet. As the notes go higher, they go along the alphabet. As they get lower, they go backwards through the alphabet. The real alphabet goes from A to Z and stops. Unlike the real alphabet, however, once the musical alphabet gets to G, it starts again. So the next highest note after G is A again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Putting lots of different notes in a row, usually with rhythm, makes a tune or a melody. Have you ever made your own melody? Why don't you play some notes on your instrument and see if you can come up with your own melody? In Unit 3, we'll learn about how melodies are put together and how we can make our own. We can tell which pitch or note to play by how high or low it is written on a group of five lines called the staff, or stave. Either name is correct, but in this video series, I'll be calling it the staff. The staff is like a treasure map with notes instead of an X. Arr! This is where notes live. The higher a note is written on the staff, the higher a sound it is. For example, this note is higher than this one. Notes can either have a line going through them or be between two lines. We call these line notes and space notes and we say notes are either on a line or in a space. Notice how the notes below the middle line have the stem going up and the notes above the middle line have the stem going down. The stem of the note on the middle line can be either up or down and that's usually just to visually match the notes around it. Remember though that whether a note has the stem going up or down it still means the same number of beats. Have a listen to the following. Is it a high sound or a low sound? That's right, it's low. Can you remember what the group of five lines is called? It's called a staff or stave. Is this a line note or a space note? It's a line note. What were the letters of the musical alphabet? They were A through G. So today, we learned that a note's pitch is how high or low a sound it is, and that by putting notes together, we can make a melody. We can tell which note to play by how high or low it is written on a group of five lines called a staff. The notes are named after the letters of the musical alphabet which uses the letters A to G and repeats over and over. However, the lines and spaces of the staff don't mean anything without some sort of guideline. And that's where the clefs come in. Join me in the next video where we will be looking at the treble clef.